And this system over and over and over again is showing all the signs of failure. Ignore this, you ignore this at your own peril. Cause their job is not really to protect you, their job is to make money. Brace yourselves because the battle has already begun and we might all be collateral damage. While everyone was chasing that easy money, central banks were busy laying traps, traps that are now snapping shut. Zero interest rates? They didn't protect you. They set you up for a fall. Insurance companies, mutual funds, hedge funds, they're holding ticking time bombs of bad debt. And when it blows, guess who's left holding the bag? But don't worry, Lynette Zhang is here to show you the one thing that's always safe, physical gold. Let's dive in before it's too late. The central banks forced individuals as well as corporations, as well as governments to go out on the risk spectrum and a reach for yield with interest rates held at zero. They created a bubble that I've spoken about over all these years that is really, it looks to me like it's popping and that could definitely create contagion throughout the entire global financial system. So what I'm talking about here is creditor on creditor and the cannibalization of those weak covenants, which means protections for the buyers of this debt. And so much of that risk has been transferred to you and you don't even know it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here, Barclays just came out with a report on creditor on creditor violence to continue. And their liability management report depicts a normalization of this cannibalization where one creditor is taking advantage of another. And even though you're gonna sit here and say, well, how does that impact me? Wait, I'm gonna show you. You cannot ignore this. You ignore this at your own peril. So let's just move on because this is about creditors protecting themselves at your expense because the battle has already begun. And I think, frankly, you could very well be, actually all of us, we're all gonna be the collateral damage of this. First of all, as a little reminder, as those interest rates were held at zero and you have insurance companies and other companies and individuals reaching for that yield, the legal protections offered by co loan covenants has consistently been below what Moody's regards as the weakest level. In other words, you have no protections. So I want to show you where that is and how that's been dropping. And remember, they put down ZERP, zero interest rate policy, basically 2008, 2009, and it took a while for the interest rates on uh, for these covenants, for these protections, for the investors to really fall below. That happened in the beginning of 2014, and it's been worse and worse ever since as the level of issuance to these covenant light loans have exploded. The 15 year reach for yield is what created all of these vulnerabilities. So when these central banks sit there and tell you, well, who could have seen this coming? A blind monkey could have seen this coming. Sure, you're gonna force people out on the risk spectrum and you've now pumped all this flipping free money into the corporate sector you think they're gonna take advantage of it? No, they have your best interest at heart. Oh really? Cause no, they do not. And let me show you where this really has an impact on you. Because people think, well, well that's credit on credit. How does that impact me? Well, this is from the Federal Reserve's financial stability report, the most recent one. And the vulnerabilities that they're talking about are losses on fixed rate debt for banks, 
okay? So remember, interest rates go up, market value of all that debt, whether it's a direct bond or it's a mortgage or it's an auto loan or it's any kind of debt instrument is way underwater. It still is. Is the central bank gonna lower those rates fast enough to make a difference? We're about to find that out, aren't we? Now, interestingly enough, when you look at the percentage of the loans held in the banks, the fixed rate debt, that has actually gone down over this period of time, how much they're doing it currently. Yeah, they backed off. Of course they would, they saw the danger. But this is where you're vulnerable because this garbage is held in mutual funds, insurance companies, life insurance companies, property and casualty insurance companies, hedge funds, as well as broker dealers. Do you think that an explosion in this area could travel throughout the entire global financial system? But also, do you have any wealth that you're holding in any one of those kinds of companies? Because much as you think there is a guarantee, look at your contract. It is based upon the claims paying ability of the company. And what have we been seeing in the insurance world? Insurance companies are pulling out and canceling you for any little infraction because their job is not really to protect you. Their job is to make money. So when it starts to cost them too much, guess what? Your guarantees go out the window. That's called counterparty risk. You know what doesn't show any counterparty risk? Physical gold held in your possession. And actually I'm taking it a step further and I'm gonna say collectible gold coins that are still their physical gold, but in a completely different category. And what does the Bank for International Settlement say? Gold is the physical gold held in your possession is the only financial asset. Just wait till you see this. And, and we saw it coming. We've been talking, I've been talking about this for years. And in addition, all of that garbage that they've created has been turned into securities to the tune of in excess $13 trillion. And what we don't see and what they don't report on are all of those derivatives, those additional leverage pieces. And what's leverage? It's debt upon debt upon debt upon debt with this teeny weeny weeny itty bitty part of equity. And that's why when these deals go south, they have an impact on everybody. If you hold any wealth in banks and credit unions, mutual funds, insurance companies, life insurance companies, property and casualty insurance companies, hedge funds or broker dealers, you are vulnerable. Your wealth is vulnerable. And if they say no, who are you gonna to complain to? You signed that contract. So what we're looking at is the crisis of covenant light loans. Lenders aim to enhance their claims on an issuer's asset at the expense of other lenders. And actually what I'm talking about is all of these past lenders that have loaned to these corporations with covenant light, in other words, no protection for investors. Now there is a new play that's coming in. That's what I'm talking about with cannibalization. Lenders aim to enhance, new lenders aim to enhance their claims on an issuer's assets at the expense of the past lenders. So you lend the money, you think you're safe. Oh yeah, no. 90% of those loans lack proper maintenance covenants. That means there's nothing they can do. But by exploiting the lack of investor protections, money managers can offer rescue financing. And gold, obviously, you guys know, I am a huge proponent on physical gold, not paper gold. All this is is a trust. And the reason why I went all the way back to when, 2007, is for you to see how in the past, when they wanted another mechanism to control the visible price, are these ETF flows in and out. But we talked about this recently, and I wanna point it out to you again, 
Because Wall Street would prefer you do paper. They do not want you to do this stuff. But this is the only thing that runs no counterparty risk. This ETF, you own shares in a trust. So yeah, it's, it's everything. And they make all the money. They have access to the physical metal. You don't. You just have something that is designed to, that's supposed to mimic the spot price, the manipulated spot price. But look at, look at what we see here. Decoupling between gold ETFs and spot. It's the first time we've really seen this. That is a very, very, very big deal. Because what it is showing you is that Wall Street is losing control of the physical market with gold. So are the central banks. Because a rise in gold price is an indication of a failing currency. And this system over and over and over again is showing all the signs of failure. And what happens? Well, people are trying to protect their wealth. And we've been taught that the only place really to do that is in the Wall Street machine. So here, little hens, go into the hen house. Don't worry about the foxes that are sitting all around waiting to gobble you up. Yeah, well I say, get the heck out of the hen house. Get in to the physical metals. And that's the reality we're facing. As the financial system crumbles under its own weight, it's time to protect what's yours. If you found value in today's video, hit that like button and subscribe to stay informed. Ring the bell icon to safeguard your wealth. Don't wait until it's too late. Your financial future depends on it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.